Hello and welcome to WCMU's Quiz Central. Our teams tonight are Traverse City West and Ionia. Our game will begin in just a minute, so don't go away. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Good luck to both of our teams. Let's play Quiz Central. Chopin. Correct. All right, your next toss up. The lottery. Right. The stranger. You are correct. Traverse City Central hangs on. They are our season champions. Hello and thanks for tuning in to Quiz Central. I'm your host, Steve Smith. Tonight we have Traverse City West and Ionia competing in our uh, contest. They are two of 48 teams that are competing again this season. The schools are divided into four divisions based on their size. Each division will have a champion and one of those teams will become this season's overall winner. At stake are scholarships from Central Michigan University and Rick Westover has more on that. The four starters and three alternates of the division championship teams will each receive a two-year, $4,000 room and board scholarship from Central Michigan University Residence Life. In addition, four lucky Quiz Central seniors will receive textbook scholarships from the CMU Bookstore. And a special thanks to CMU Enrollment and Student Services, which provides lunch for our contestants and their traveling party. All right, thanks, Rick. We will meet our contestants very shortly, but let's get the game underway with the maroon and gold round. Teams, you have two minutes to answer as many questions as possible. If the team ringing in misses the question, the opposing team will have a chance to respond. There's no talking among team members, and correct answers are worth 10 points. Good luck to both of our teams. Here is your first question. What play depicts Blanche Dubois' Stay with the Kowalskis? The uh, D'Angelo Ionia? A streetcar named Desire. That is correct. A farmer named Wang Lung is the protagonist of what novel, which won the 1932 Pulitzer Prize, is by Pearl S. Buck and is set in China? Next question. The Chapman Cycle governs the production of what compound that protects the Earth from UV radiation? Joel Ionia? Ozone. You are right. What cartoon show is named for Blossom, Buttercup, and Bubbles? Dalton, Ionia? The Powerpuff Girls. That's right. What woodwind plays the counter melody in the Stars and Stripes Forever, has a name meaning small in Italian, and is an octave higher, D'Angelo, Ionia? Piccolo. Right. Juan Perón's third wife, after Eva Perón, succeeded him as president of Argentina and was most commonly known by what first name? Next question. What song, which played during the last scene of The Sopranos, describes a city boy born and raised in South Detroit, Angela, Traverse Don't City stop West? Leaving. You Don't are stop right. Leaving. That's correct. The games Get the Guests and Bringing Up Baby are introduced by George and Martha in what Edward LB play? Your next question. What collection by J.S. Bach, named for a tuning system, consists of preludes and fugues in every major and minor key? Go ahead, Joel, I own you. The Goldberg Variations. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect, Traverse City. All right, we will get you an answer in just a minute. What English author wrote about a widower who displays Fra Pandolf's portrait of an easily pleased Italian noblewoman in the poem, My Last Duchess? Moving along to the end of the round. All right, we got a score right now of 40 to 10, Ionia's favor. The uh, missed answers, the English author was Robert Browning. Uh, the collection by J.S. Bach was The Well-Tempered Clavier. Juan Perón's third wife was Isabel. Edward Albee play was Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And the uh, novel by Pearl S. Buck was The Good Earth. All right, so that takes us to the end of the first round and a chance to get to know our contestants just a little bit better. We're going to start with D'Angelo from Ionia. Well, my name is D'Angelo Barr, as you might already know. I, uh, do, I'm in the marching band, I play flute, and I'm uh, hoping to, uh, you know, attend CMU. 
Uh, I'm Dalton Batter. I'm a sophomore at Ionia High School. I am a I am on the varsity soccer team, and I'm a snare and drumline. I'm Joel Carnes. I'm a junior at Ionia High School. I'm the captain of the quiz bowl team, and I'm on the swim team. I'm Elliot Rewa. I'm a sophomore at Ionia High School. I play the trumpet and marching band, and I'm a big fan of Ralph Moody. All right, nice to have you all here. Ionia's alternates are Madeline Armantrout, Alex Yakes. They're coached by Steve Carnes. Let's give them a nice round of applause. And now, turning to the team from Traverse City West. Hi there, Alex. Hi. I'm Alex. I'm a senior at West Senior High, and I am parliamentarian for the National Honor Society and a proud member of Raider Nation. <laughs> My name is Summer. I'm a senior at Traverse City West Senior High. I'm a varsity debater, and I plan to study biomedical engineering in college. My name is Angela. I'm a junior at West Senior High, and I plan to study political science in college. My name is Ryan from Traverse City West Senior High, and I'm, I'm part of the mechanical team in my robotics, and I plan to study aerospace engineering in college. All right, nice to have you here as well. Their alternates are Jesse Chan, Michael Riccobono, and Lane Thompson. Their coach is Dan Rosenberg. A nice round of applause for them. And with that, we return to the game and the kickoff round. The kickoff round is a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. The team that cor correctly answers the toss-up question will be asked a bonus. Then we go back to a toss-up question for both teams. Toss-up questions need an individual response, but team members can consult on the bonus. Captains, remember the answers must come from you unless you defer to a colleague. Here is your first toss-up question. What constitutional amendment adopted in 1971 lowered the voting age from 21 to 18? Correct answer there, sorry Joel, the 26th amendment of the Constitution. The next toss-up question for both teams, what country whose island of Lombok was struck by several 2018 earthquakes was devastated by a tsunami that killed thousands in Sumatra? Joel Ionia. Indonesia. That's correct, and here is your bonus. What chemical process used to discover sodium and potassium is governed by two laws named for Michael Faraday? For, um, <clears throat> I got nothing. Need an answer? Faraday's law. Nope, electrolysis. Oh. All right. The uh, next toss-up question for both teams, the Boyoma Falls are found near the source of what African river that runs through Brazzaville? And th Joel, go ahead, I own you. The Nile? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Traverse City West, you get a shot. The answer is the Congo, the Congo River. Another toss-up question, what element, which like magnesium is abundant in mafic rocks, is found with nickel in the inner core and is a metal used in many magnetic compasses? Joel Ionia. Iron. Correct. And a bonus question, the last French king, Louis Philippe, was the only monarch from what dynasty named for a city on the River Loire? Danube? I don't know. Answer? Danube. I'm sorry. Danube. No, the House of Orleans. Mm. All right, both teams again. The Battle of Milvian Bridge was a victory for what man who declared toleration in his Edict of Milan and became the first Christian Roman Emperor? D'Angelo Ionia. Constantine. Yes, that is correct, and here is a bonus. What type of angle is both larger than any obtruse angle but smaller than any reflex angle? Straight. That's correct. Back to both teams. South Africa's three capitals are Bloemfontein, Cape Town, and what other northeast city northeast of Johannesburg? Joel Ionia. Johannesburg. Nope. I'm sorry. Incorrect. Okay. Does Traverse City West have an answer? Lesotho. Go ahead, Angela. Oh, Lesotho. Nope. I'm sorry. Pretoria was the answer. Another toss-up question. The title characters eat mince and quince with a runcible spoon in what Edward Lear nonsense poem about the marriage of two animals? The answer is the owl and the pussycat. 
What 1960 film depicts the death of embezzler Marion Crane in a motel shower at the hands of Norman Bates? Alex, Traverse City West. Psycho. That is right, and here is your bonus. What faithful wife of Odysseus fended off many suitors while waiting 20 years for his return? What? Say it again. Penelope. Penelope? That's right. All right, here's another toss-up question. What state whose Rocky Mountain National Park is near the town of Estes Park is home to the U.S. Air Force, Alex, Traverse City West? Colorado. Right, and another bonus. What elementary particle has a mass of 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms and a charge of minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs? An electron. That's right. All right. Good job. Both teams will take a little bit of a break here. We will be back in just a moment with the perfect 10. Our score going into the break is Ionia 80, Traverse City West 50. So again, stick with us. We'll be back for the perfect 10 right after this. I was married to Fred Rogers for a little over 50 years. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. The beautiful PBS day was very day. important to him. He had gone around to check out what was this thing called educational television. And he said, I like it. Won't you be my neighbor? It's so important to have those values carried on for every child and every family. Please, won't you be my neighbor? Our great state of Michigan is truly one of a kind. From the city streets to the small towns, you can see it all right here on Destination Michigan. We'll crisscross the state in search of the sights, the sounds, and of course, the people that make Michigan the greatest state in the land. Take in the scenery, meet the people, and experience the wonder of the Great Lakes State. Come along with us as we share your stories on Destination Michigan. Welcome back to Quiz Central and the Perfect 10 round. Teens, the Perfect 10 gives you 60 seconds to answer 10 questions from your choice of clues to three categories. The opposing team gets 30 seconds to tackle all unasked, missed, or passed questions. Ionia, you've got the lead, so Traverse City West will go first today. The clues to the categories are forward, backward, it's all the same, polishing crystals, and state number 45. Forward, backward, it's all the same. Polishing crystals, state number 45. Which one would you like? What do you want to do? I would do state number 45. Decision? State number 45. State number 45, and that category is Utah. Answer the following about Utah. Its official nickname. Um, the, um, no. Pass. Okay. It's Majority Church. Um, LDS. LDS. Yes. Ute Chief who names a war partly fought in Utah in the late 1860s. Anybody? We did this earlier. I don't know. Pass. Pass. National Park in eastern Utah named for sandstone structures. Arch. Arch. Arches. Correct. Republican who served as a Utah senator for 42 years starting in 1977. Wait, no, no. Wait, what? Never mind. Pass. Okay. It's capital. Um, Salt Lake City. Salt Lake yes. City? Correct. University in Provo, whose sports BYU. teams are called the Cougars. BYU. That's correct. 2012 Republican presidential Mitt candidate Romney. who Mitt lives Romney. in Utah. Mitt Romney. Correct. State that borders Utah to the south. Uh, New Mexico. Out of time. All right, Ionia, 30 seconds on the clock to you. Today, to you, the uh, category is Utah. What is Utah's official nickname? Excuse me, we asked that, that one correctly. Um, no, it's official nickname, I'm sorry. The Beehive State. And the Beehive State? You are right. You chief who names a war partly fought in Utah in the late 1860s. I'm pretty sure it's Red Cloud. I think so. Red Cloud? Nope. Republican who served as a Utah senator for 42 years starting in 1977. Johnson. Nope. State that borders Utah to the south, that would be Arizona. 
um, the Republican who served as a Utah senator for 42 years was Orrin Hatch. The Ute chief was Black Hawk, and the um, and we did get that one correct. The one question we didn't get to, prehistoric lake name for a French-born explorer that covered much of present-day Utah would have been Lake Bonneville. But we have two categories left. Ionia, it is now your choice. Forward, backward, it's all the same. And polishing crystals, which of those two would you like? We'll do forward, backward. All right, the category is palindromic words. Give these words that are palindromic, meaning the same forward and backwards. Watercraft moved with a double paddle. Kayak. 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 Correct. Device used to measure if an object is horizontal. Level. Level. Right. 12 hours after midnight? Noon. Noon. Yep. Method of detection that uses radio waves. Radar. Radar. Yep. System of blades on a helicopter. Rotor. Rotor. Yep. A high deck at the stern of a ship. Pass. 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 Adjective indicating a relation to a municipality. Pass. Legal order to suppress the release of information. Subpoena. Nope. Individual principle that forms the basis for a belief. Pass. And to succeed or make a living despite difficulty, often, often proceeding out. Out of time. All right, back to Traverse City West <laughs> with 30 seconds on the clock. Give these words that are palindromes, meaning they read the same forwards and backwards. A high deck at the stern of a ship. Pass. Adjective indicating a relation to a municipality. Anybody? Pass. Okay. Legal order to suppress the release of information. Pass. Okay. Individual principle that forms the basis for a belief. Morality, maybe? No. Nope. No. And to succeed or make a living despite difficulty, often preceding out. And we are out of time. We almost eked that out before the buzzer rang. Okay. The other ones that we missed there, the individual principle that forms the basis for a belief tenet, the legal order to suppress the release of information as a gag order, adjective indicating a relation to a municipality with civic, and a high deck at the stern of a ship is the poop deck. All right, that gets us through the perfect 10 round. Ionia with a 40 point lead over Traverse City West, and we move now into the home stretch round. The home stretch round is just like round two, a combination of toss up and bonus questions. I'll ask a toss up, the team that answers correctly will be asked a bonus. Then we go back to a toss up question for both teams. Here we go with the home stretch round. What quantity equals the dot product of the force and velocity vectors is the rate at which work is performed and has SI units of watts? Joel, Ionia. Energy. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. How about Traverse City West? Go ahead, Alex. Power. That is right, and here is your bonus. In what city did Dan White assassinate Mayor George Moscone and gay rights activist Harvey Milk in 1978? New York City? No, nope, San Francisco. Back to both teams with a toss-up. In 2019, what type of animal was found wearing a harness in Norway, fueling speculation it was trained as a Russian spy? Joel, Ionia. A whale. That's correct. Here is your bonus. What composer of The Fairy's Kiss included such movements as Ritual Action of the Ancestors and Dance of the Earth in his ballet, The Rite of Spring? Is that Tchaikovsky? Sure. Uh, Tchaikovsky. Nope, I'm sorry, Stravinsky. <laughs> Back to both teams. What quantity, often represented by a lowercase sigma, is the square root of a data set's variance? The answer is standard deviation. <clears throat> Semyon Dezhnev was the first known European to pass through what explorer's namesake strait, which separates Russia from Alaska? Elliot Ionia. The Bering Strait. That's correct. Here is your bonus. 
What organ whose external shape is changed in rhinoplasty, contains olfactory neurons, oh, is divided by a septum, and has two openings called nostrils? The nose. That is correct. Glad you got that one right. <laughs> Both teams, which Roman numeral can double as an English personal pronoun? D'Angelo Ionia. One. Yep, that is correct. All right. What former, and this is a bonus, what former publisher of the New York Observer who was assigned by Donald Trump to broker Mideast Peace in 2017 is married to Ivanka Trump? Donald Trump? No, Jared Kushner. Jared Kushner. That is right. Both teams, in 2019, what European country's Ibiza affair led to the ouster of conservative chancellor Sebastian Kurz? Alex, Traverse City West? France. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. How about Ionia? Go ahead, D'Angelo. Spain? Nope, Austria. Mm. Another toss-up question. What architect who designed the academical village of the University of Virginia and his, home, his own home of Monticello was also Joel Ionia? Thomas Jefferson. That's right, and a bonus. What husband of Eunice Kennedy, who was the first director of the Peace Corps, was George McGovern's running mate in the 1972 presidential election? Is that Robert Kennedy? Uh, Ted Kennedy, maybe? Or maybe it's Ted. Ted Kennedy. Nope. Sergeant Schreiber. Oh. Okay. And that's perfect timing there. We are out of time. Uh, we have Ionia at 200, Traverse City West at 110. We are going to take a quick break here to regroup, and when we come back, we'll play the final countdown. So stay right there. I have three children, Jack, Emma, and Marjorie. PBS Kids has been such a big part of our lives. We watch Daniel Tiger every day. Marjorie loves that episode when Prince Wednesday's cousin, Chrissy, is visiting and Daniel notices Chrissy wears these leg braces. She has braces just like me. Getting the leg braces was difficult for Marjorie. Seeing Chrissy wear them just totally changed her mindset about it. I feel like she was made just for me. PBS Kids is such a value to our family. Unlock your newest member benefit. Over 1,000 episodes of your favorite PBS shows. American Masters. Antiques Roadshow. Nature. Nova. Masterpiece. Watch the best of PBS anytime, anywhere. Become a member, sign in, and start streaming today. All right, it all comes down to this, the Quiz Central Final Countdown. It's another two-minute rapid-fire round. The first player to ring in gets a shot at answering the question. If you get it wrong, we turn to the opposing team for a chance to answer. Your first question, what author wrote about Katrina Van Tassel's marriage to Brom Bones after the disappearance of Ichabod Crane in The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, D'Angelo Ionia? Washington Irving. That's correct. What oxymoronic two-word phrase describes organisms such as crocodiles and horseshoe crabs that still closely resemble long-extinct ancestors? We'll find out the answer in just a minute. In 2019, police officer Scott Peterson was indicted for failing to protect students during a 2018 shooting at what Florida high school? D'Angelo Ionia. Parkland? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Traverse City West. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. You are correct. All right, next question. What winged item which was created as a humane alternative to a bird called a snidget is the smallest and most valuable ball used in Quidditch? Dalton, Ionia. The snitch? Yep, right. What city is home to the world's first underground railway system whose initial journey in 1863 traveled from Farringdon Road to Paddington Station? Joel Ionia. London. Correct. What color names an anti-war NGO and appears in the logo of Susan G. Komen since it symbolizes breast cancer awareness? Joel. Pink. Yep, you are right. All right, your next question. The name of what former California prison, once home to the Birdman Robert Stroud, D'Angelo Ionia? Alcatraz. Correct. Regina and Saskatoon are major cities in which Joel Ionia? Saskatchewan. Right. What country, which with England is the setting of a room with a view, was once ruled by Benito Mussolini? 
D'Angelo Ionia. Italy? Yep. In 2018, the Smithsonian announced plans to open a galley, a gallery rather, in London in collaboration with what British museum? Named after a pair of royals. Victorian Albert Museum would have been the answer there, but a good round. And with that, I think we have our champion for today, and that's Ionia. Let's give him a nice round of applause. That was a fast round there. The only question that was mix, missed was the oxymoronic two-word phrase describes organisms such as crocodiles and horseshoe crabs. Those are called living fossils. All right, but a good game by both teams. Let's give them both a nice round of applause. And that does it for another edition of Quiz Central. Until next time, like us on Facebook or watch your favorite game online as we feature the best and brightest high school students from around the state. Thanks for tuning in. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.